I'm always looking for new ways of approaching an instrument or new extensions to the sound world that I already have. And there's no question that Matt's triangles have, have given me that possibility. But also, you know, part of the journey is educating composers and, and also, you know, having those moments where you're really asking the audience to observe the sound of a triangle. And that's very magical, actually, because it is amazing how many people may come up and say, I noticed that, you know, I had no idea that a triangle could just be so sensual or so aggressive or so piercing or so present or just so velvety, you know, and it's very, very pleasing when you, when you get that kind of emotion across. So, you know, for me, there are different ways of working with the, the triangles. You know, I may scrunch them together. Um, I may just play it like a, almost like a triangle tree and go whoosh, and it's just an amazing effect. I may tickle the triangles almost like a mark tree or a wind chime or something. And, uh, or I may use the triangle and strike another instrument with it. And that's interesting. And because um, some of Matt's triangles have grooves in them, you've got another instrument again, you know, all the possibilities. So rhythmically, you can really play with that.